Hi gang, it's March, so that once again means it is gardening time back on the channel and we're going to be doing a bit of growing things in containers. I get a lot of messages from people saying that they haven't got a garden or much by way of outdoor space. But if you've got any outdoor space at all, there's quite a lot you can actually grow and do in containers or buckets or sacks and stuff like that. I moved to Norwich in the summer and we're renting at the minute, but we're going to be buying a house hopefully uh, later on this year, which means I can't plant things now, but I can't move. So this year I'm only going to be planting things in containers so we can see how they go along. You might not have a garden. If you've got a balcony, you could grow things in that. You could probably even put something by your front door, depending on your street, if people are nice. All you need is some stuff to put things on. So first of all, let us start with a nice, easy favourite. Tomatoes. You can grow any type of tomato in a bucket, but what's quite useful is to have ones that are sort of bushy ones rather than ones that go up a stick like this. So the idea, these are mascot, mascotka tomatoes. Never had these before. That's what it's going to look like in the end. Loads and loads of lovely cherry tomatoes that are going to come out in the summer. You can't plant tomatoes outside in the UK very successfully without a greenhouse. So what we're going to use is these little trays to grow some and plant them on the window ledge and then plant them out once it gets a little bit warmer. First things first, need a bit of compost. We're just going to fill all these little holes in the tray with compost so we can start growing. There we go, all nicely full. This cost I think about seven or eight quid, this thing, but it's quite sturdy, it'll do a few years. This bit comes out, there's a bit in there, there's a lid, everything you need. I'm going to do half of these with tomatoes. You know what tomato seeds like because you see them in tomatoes, but they're pretty tiny. And you don't want to put them too far down, you want to put them down about half a centimetre under the ground, under your soil. Just make a little hole with your finger and pop them in. You tend to get quite a lot of seeds in seed packets, more than you're probably likely to plant. So you can always, if you've got friends who are growing things, you can always trade things with them. Because really, I'm not going to grow 30 tomato plants, how many are in here? There's loads. That's the tomatoes all planted. Going to give it a water, pop the lid on, pop this on a window ledge for a few weeks till the little seedlings start to come out. Then we transport them to bigger pots, transplant them probably plant, they are plants, grow bigger plots and then eventually once all the risk of frost gone and it's getting nice and warm outside we'll plant them outside and they can grow. That's our first thing. Oh more things to come in here though. Cucumbers, look at this bush champion, what a great name. Again you can see on there ideal for containers so a lot of the time if you're not sure what variety to get because you can get loads of different types of cucumbers just find one it's got like a, a label like that on it and we're just going to do the same thing on the other side so there's only eight cucumber seeds in that pack, which means I can plant a few more tomatoes than I first expected. It should take about a week or two till the tomato seeds come up and probably a little bit less, a week, week and a half, till you see some action from the cucumbers. So we'll keep, we'll keep checking it out. I'll put photos and stuff on my Instagram if you follow me there and then you can see how things are getting on. But that's all you need to do now for the cucumbers and the tomatoes. Give them a quick water on the window ledge, somewhere nice and sunny, let them grow. Next up, we're growing a firm favorite on this channel. It has to be potatoes. These are seed potatoes. You get different types of potatoes. You get like first early, second early, main crop, and then late ones, depending on when they're gonna be ready to eat. So if you're a careful potato grower, you can have potatoes throughout the year. These are first earlies, which basically means they're gonna be ready probably about June time, I'd say. It probably says on here. Yeah, June or July. So I can plant from now onwards and they go from there. I bought these a couple of weeks ago and I just left them on the window ledge to chit, which is where they grow little things out the side of them. And I'm going to plant them in these buckets that I've used for a few years now. It's just a bucket with like holes in for drainage. If I was 
if I'd be bothered, I'd put a few stones on in the bottom to help drain these, but I'm not. I'm just going to fill them with compost and put two potatoes per bucket. There we go. I normally fill these about two thirds of the way up because when they, the plants start growing, you want to cover them a little bit, cover the bottom bit with more compost to help promote good potato growth. So these I do two, sometimes I do three in a bucket. Should I do three? I'm gonna do three in a bucket. Uh, and you wanna put these about five inches, about 10, 12 centimeters down, so they can start a growing. And that's kind of it. You wanna watch out for frost early on. It's probably not gonna kill them, but it might not help massively. So it looks like it's gonna be cold overnight and you've got them in buckets. The good thing is you can just bring them in the kitchen if you don't mind your wife getting annoyed at you. I always think potatoes are a good thing to grow if you're just starting your veg growing journey because you get a lot for them. Like each one of these seed potatoes is gonna generate loads of other potatoes. Get good value for your money. If you put in one of the little onion seed things, the mini onions you grow, you just get one onion for it. But here, really good rate of return. A seed potato is basically a potato that's been screened for disease and stuff. You could just plant a normal potato, but it might be diseased. You don't want disease. So if possible, get some seed potatoes. These were 2.49 for 10. Bargain. Carrots now. We're growing Autumn King 2 this year. Carrot Boogaloo. Uh, nice easy thing to do in a, in a bucket again. Got some compost that I've just watered before I put them in. And I'm going to put a roughly 10 carrot seeds in here. You can plant them straight out. You can plant these from now until like July and you'll get them from June onwards depending on when you plant them. There's definitely more than 10 seeds but once they start to come up you can just pick out the ones that are too close together and either transport them or just bin them, chuck them over the fence. Don't do that. And that's the carrots kind of done they grow and then you eat them. Peas now, Lincoln peas to be precise. I don't know much about pea varieties. Uh, I've not grown these in a bucket before, but they're quite easy to grow. I grow them every year because Otto, my son, loves just picking them off the pods and eating them. Have a look. Probably going to put about 10 in this bucket because I'm not really sure how many one puts in a bucket. I've never grown peas in a bucket before. So We'll do that, and if it's too many, again, we can always thin them once they start to grow through. Nice, easy things to grow bees. So there we go. It's only been about 20, 25 minutes I've been out here, and we've got five different crops on the go. Food coming up this summer. Come on. So that's everything in the ground. I'll keep you updated as the year goes on. If there's an interest, I can try and do a video for people who don't have any outdoor space and see what we can grow on a window ledge if that's something that people are interested let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you're growing this year as well and and together we will feed ourselves throughout the summer when everyone else all these other losers are going to supermarkets not us we get free food from underground cheers for watching ta -ra.